Stephen Cox come out and help get us on Galloway hit miss engine going. Wait a minute, who's this guy? Is it YouTube on YouTube? YouTube on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so this uh, at least if I can get it right. Oh, she took the tag with her. So this is a 1913 Galloway 16 horsepower hit and miss engine. So a hit and miss engine is a lot different than a normal motor. So your normal engine, every every second cycle, you've got an or every four cycles you've got an ignition. Two stroke, you got you know every second cycle you've got an ignition. This one. Whenever it slows down a little bit, you get ignition. Other than that, the only thing keeping it running is the sheer mass of these two gigantic flywheels. These things weigh about a thousand pounds together, about 500 apiece. So all that's going on, the flywheel keeps spinning. It runs this little governor arm over here. So if you watch this little arm right here, right now we're not firing. You'll see this arm open up. You'll see this arm come back. When this arm comes back, like it's slowing down right now, so it just fired. This arm comes up. When this arm pulls all the way back, this one comes down. It flips this igniter and watch it flip. Send spark over here to the spark plug, which ignite a, a starts your compression or your ignition cycle. So your intake is down here. This is where our fuel comes in. That's where you, uh, instead of having a carburetor, you just adjust your fuel. Your intake comes up here with this valve right here. There's something else different about these hit and miss motors. This intake valve moves in based on suction. There's no rocker arm doing it. It's just a very weak, very weak spring to actuate in. Over here is our exhaust valve. You'll watch this exhaust valve. This bar will actually move it. You'll see this rocker arm come way out. And that opened our exhaust valve. So that's how the hit and miss motor works. You set these things up to run. Instead of having like the water mill or water wheel like a mill, you have something like this running. You have a huge leather belt over here on this uh, sheet. This thing's free wheeling right now because we're not using it, but you have a massive leather belt running up to your overhead or running right whatever your implement is. This isn't working right now. But normally, this would be free wheel. If you pushed it in, just clutch it here, grab this, and turn it off. Back in the day, you didn't have an electric motor, so you had to have things like this all the way around running stuff. Fantastic. I, I keep saying little, but this thing weighs 3,200 pounds. So it's 16 not, horsepower and 3,200 pounds. And something a lot of people don't understand, they think 16 horsepower, they think, oh, like a little riding lawn mower. Well, yeah. it's 16 horsepower, but tremendous amount of torque. This thing probably makes eight, 900 foot-pounds of torque when your lawnmower only makes like a half of one. Really cool old system. That's awesome. I've never seen anything like it. 